All right, take three, let's go. Hello, wonderful peoples. Welcome back to Theo is Back. I love it that you guys tuned in and I would like to welcome you to the Theo's Back show. Yeah. So guys, I recently got multiple questions from different people. Mostly half of those people I don't talk to on a regular basis, to be honest, but I got questions from them when I was going back to Europe. And this, and this had to do with a, a recent development that happened in my business life in Chigali of which I just wanted to talk to you about in this video. All right, let's get started. Welcome back my random people. So before we start with the video, I would like to address the big dildo in this room. This big ass mic in front of me and some lights that you see in the background. This is all because of you, my uh, lovely Patreons and uh, YouTube members who are supporting me. Thank you very much. I was able to save up money to get to buy this equipment from Europe to get it here in Rwanda. It was not easy, but you know, we got it. Uh, I also ordered, by the way, one of those arms. Yes, these things, you see? Oh. Um, but to, to my surprise, you know, I guess maybe I did not read it well. This arm comes with a mic on its own. Um, but apparently this shock mount does not fit on this mic. So I need to find a way to buy a different shock mount to fit on this arm. But yeah, we'll try again. But anyway, thank you, my lovely Patreons. Let's continue with the video. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. I'm trying to be a bit more laid back and talk um, because we're also in a partial lockdown. There's not much to do during the day. Um, yeah, so this is going to be my new setup. Let me know if you like it. So I recently got a lot of messages for people asking me if I was going back to Europe. And this had to do with the fact that I, um, I started a new hustle. Yes, a new side gig, you would call it. Well, Dad, we're coming up on our anniversary of COVID-19. Exactly one year ago, on the 8th of uh, March, was when we had our first COVID-19 patient or person, I would say, who flew in into Rwanda. On 13th of March, that's when they reported themselves to a hospital, I believe. And, and then the next day, on the 14th of March 2020, that's when we got uh, the announcement that COVID has arrived in Rwanda. Exactly a week after that, we went into lockdown and we kind of have never left that, to be honest. Um, and this, so in this past year, I must say the you know, everyone has been affected differently. You could see that many countries have made, you know, their own rules. Some are more successful than others. Uh, but all I can talk about is Rwanda, because that's where I've been residing for the past year. And uh, for us, for the people in the gym sector, mostly, we have been hit uh, significantly because gym have been closed ever since they reopened for briefly for about two weeks and then they closed up real quick we were not even able to you know we i was able to do one workout in those two weeks because i had to you know apply for approval and get everything in order um so we basically never opened so because we never opened um of course i saw this happening in way back I thought of to, to open like a second business. Like I said in my New Year's resolution video, I wanted to, I want to open a second business this year, but I realized that you cannot just open a second business, can you? You just, you have to start somewhere small, of course, unless if you have big capital, which I don't have. So I started a side hustle. I decided in, um, I believe July, August of last year, 2020, um, to, uh, to order some, a bunch of uh, gym equipment and then sell them here in Chigali because here in Rwanda we have difficulties getting good quality equipment. So I made a flyer, I distributed it online in the, in the groups that we have here. And there were a lot of interest, uh, not many who pre-ordered with me, but I was like, it's okay. So I just, you know, with the money that I still left back then, I made a small order and it, normally the order comes within like three months. So I was expecting it to be here by you know november latest december but that's not how things really went hey eh? um so in august i started talking to the suppliers um 
we agreed upon a price and then in october that's when i paid uh, the first part of the money it was supposed to come within 30 days to 60 days so by end of december that's when they they, they had finished manufacturing the gym equipment that i had i had ordered and then they sent it to a shipping company that shipping company also took longer than usual to about five to six weeks which normally takes like three weeks i think or four weeks max i don't remember um so they sent out those equipment and i got a message at the beginning of february uh, this year that uh, the equipment had arrived and it took me another week or so to get it out but so this uh I know many people ask me about you know the costs and everything uh, i'll you know i'll make maybe a separate video let me know if if it is very interesting but in short it's expensive first of all the shipping cost had increased with more than 50 percent um don't know why that's just the thing that i got to find out um when my my my, my shipping finally arrived and the taxes were also pretty high like the last time i calculated it it was 49 percent for this order, I'm not quite sure yet, but it's usually around that same number. Um, so just finished uh, the counting. Looks like the numbers were approximately right. So now it's time to uh, go pay this stuff and see if they can uh, release my uh, stuff. Yeah, so because everything was even so high, I had to even borrow money to pay off some of these uh, outstanding taxes or things that I had to pay. Um, so I could get those equipment out fast, which I did, and I was able to start selling it immediately and pay back the loan within a week, um, so that I can continue business. Fui, how are you feeling? So finally, the equipment has arrived from China to Rwanda. So let's start unpacking. So when the equipment came out, honestly, I was quite happy. It was for the first time in this past year that I felt that I was busy again, working, you know, uh, selling, running around, delivering, you know, trying to get new clients. You know, it's for me, it's been a while since I've been, you know, this hyped up. Anyway, um, because this was just like a small order, uh, I only have like a small batch that I'm kind of like selling here and there. I'm hoping if this goes well, I can make a bigger order that will come in about three to four months from today. We shall see. Um, so once the, the equipment arrived, you know, we had to unpack it. As you can see, it is not a big, big order, but it is, you know, it's quite heavy. You can see it on the on the uh, on my pine. How do you call my pine? Wheels here. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy about that. As soon as I started selling this equipment, many people were asking me if I was going back to Europe. And I was like, why? Um, apparently, people thought I was selling my own gym equipment and as, as if I was going out of business and I was running back to Europe. Um, so even though people really, I don't know, it's, uh, I have experience now, even if you, if you write something on the internet or everywhere, people don't read everything, but I clearly stated this is, I'm, I'm selling this brand new equipment. Um, but nevertheless, I must add though, some of the people on WhatsApp group uh, messaged me because I, I also posted there that I was uh, sharing my Mukozi. Uh, so it's like the person who helps me around the, the house. Because I live in a fairly small house, I don't need anyone full time. But I like the guy, so I was like, let me find you maybe another house. Then we can both pay you like part time and therefore you have your own full time salary. Um, um, you know, so that we can keep working together that way. Um, but again, people here also did not read that well. They just thought I was giving him away or finding him a new house because I was moving somewhere. So why am I telling you this? Well, person is because I, I, it got me thinking by people asking me if I'm going back to Europe, it means that they have assumed somehow, some way that I have given up, that I quit. Um, personally, I don't mind quitting something, you know, we have all quitted, you know, our first relationship, we have quit 
our first education maybe um, and then choose another topic you've quit the place where you live in you've quit we all quit and personally I also don't mind quitting because I know how much effort I put into everything that I do before I quit but for by, by people asking me these questions I kind of felt as if they assumed I had already I'm, I'm already quitting after just barely starting here and I was like what makes you think that I'm quitting what makes you think that I'm going back even if I'll be selling this equipment even if I'll be selling my house and everything why would I give up on my African dream immediately um, you know anyway to my understanding how I see things I think it's more about them so the person who asked me that question is probably what they would do if it's the way my position what they would think about uh, but that's not me I'm I'm generally quite um, I'm quite sure when I pick something and I'm so therefore also when I pick to when I decide to quit it I'm, I'm quite sure about it it's not really a foggy thing it's not it's a clear decision usually because um, be, before I quit anything um, there are two things that I, li I like to do I like to double down in effort and double down in time so effort I think you understand I just do more effort and I also double down in time as in let's say if I had the goal to be successful by the end of the year I usually just double the time so I'll, I'll give it two years in that case for example but that's only when I'm in that position of thinking of quitting and now I feel like we've barely started man so um, and this whole corona thing has kind of you know hit everyone in a different way I must say um, but it has also brought some new new uh, opportunities you know people are working online I'm doing more online consultancy for example um, I'm looking also for ways to, to 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 make more money online things I've been thinking about for a long time but now well now we have to do it so it's interesting um, anyway so guys let me know in the comment section below uh, when is the right time to quit how do you guys decide on when to quit I know, I know it's a very big and complex answer but I think we all have a different uh, take on it and I don't think that my take is is, is, is actually the usual because I generally like I said I have no issues with quitting anything and I, it's, it's never like a big deal for me because I really put a lot of effort in in many things before I quit them but when I quit them then I'm done all right I will not make this video way too long thank you very much for watching you guys I uh, just wanted to upload this video to keep you all updated thank you to my patreons uh, thank you to all my youtube members as well Thank you to my subscribers. If you like to sh support me, just click on the link here or here, depending where it comes up. And uh, check me in the description below. I'm here continuing my African dream. I hope you are following your dream in whatever that is. And I would like to see you all in the next video. Okay. Bye bye.